This video is going to be a quick lecture on the bipolar junction transistor and I'm going to use this diagram that I put together a while ago. So to begin with, when you're doing a hobbyist and prototyping circuits and stuff, you generally use transistors that come in this packaging. This is called the TO92 packaging. It's flat on one side and then round on the other side. So these are round up here and then flat right there. So that's the TO92 package. The package doesn't tell you anything about the transistor. You got to look at what's written on there. So these two happen to be a 2N3904 and then that one's a 2N3906. So if you're unaware of what a component that looks like this is, you got to look up the part number and look up its data sheet. So now moving along, when you're dealing with the bipolar junction transistor, which is the focus of this video, remember other types of transistors can come in this packaging too, but for the bipolar junction transistor, you have NPN type bipolar junction transistors and PNP type bipolar junction transistors. And down here, we'll look at what that NPN and PNP mean. So, uh, NPN transistor, bipolar junction transistor, has uh, three chemical areas. So you have a P-type material sandwiched between two N-type materials. The PNP bipolar junction transistor is the opposite. You have an N-type material sandwiched between two P-type materials. So the chemical makeup is either NPN or PNP. And of course, the three parts of the bipolar junction transistor have names. So, there's a collector, a base, and emitter. That's either for the NPN or the PNP. We have a collector, a base, and emitter. Now, the pins aren't always laid out like this. The pin layout could be anything when you're looking at the transistor. We'll talk about that a little bit coming up. But uh, in any case, just be aware that the base is the sandwiched material as far as the chemistry is concerned. And of course, there's the schematic symbol. And with the uh, bipolar junction transistor, you have a line and then three lines coming out of it. And so the line without an arrow off to the side here is the collector. Same with the PNP. Uh, the one that comes to the middle here, that's the base and it's always on the other side of the collector and the emitter as far as this dividing line goes. And then the emitter is the one that helps indicate which direction you insert the uh, transistor into a circuit. And so, because it has an arrow. So that's how you can tell the emitter from the collector on the schematic symbol. Now the NPN type transistor, you can think of as never pointing in. That refers to the arrow, NPN, never pointing in because it's never pointing in, or not pointing in. Whereas the PNP transistor has an arrow that points in. So now usually you won't see any of this writing on the schematic symbol when you're looking at a schematic diagram. I added that to make it uh, give you a visual to see what's going on. But uh, normally you just see these three lines in the schematic symbol, and maybe you'll see the part number, like the 2N2222 then you know you can use a 2N2222 in that circuit. So now moving along to actual components, I got pictures here of three types of transistors I commonly use, the 2N2222, 2N3904, and 2N3906. So these two are NPN type transistors, this one's a PNP transistor, but you'll notice they all start with 2N. The first number letter is 2N, and I believe this is always the case, I know it is with these three transistors, but if it starts with 2N, you can be pretty sure that looking at the flat edge, the left pin is the emitter, the middle pin is the base, and the right pin is the collector. And moving down the diagram, I have the schematic symbols again. Each one of these symbols is for the transistor above it. I have two here, I'll explain why coming up. But in any case, with the NPN transistors, you want the collector towards the positive side of the power source and the emitter towards the negative side of the power source. So I got red for positive, blue for negative. And uh, 
of course you have other components on one or both sides you don't just normally connect it directly to a power source that's probably a bad idea usually there's other components but uh, in any case with the base now it needs to be more positive when you want conduction so it's uh, generally you don't want it more negative than the emitter uh, but it can be equal value to the emitter then the transistor will be off but once the base gets more positive than the emitter by about 0.6 volts then you'll have current conduct through there and that will also let current conduct from collector to emitter that's the basic function of the transistor and uh, the basic function doesn't matter whether it's the 2N22 or the uh, 2N3904 they, they function basically the same now because they're NPN transistors now PNP type transistors are the opposite you want the collector more negative than the emitter usually this is attached to the power supply with uh, other components also along the path on either side but uh, with the PNP type transistor now the base needs to be more negative than the emitter for conduction if you go positive to negative you need the base more negative than the emitter to conduct and in the process I will also let current conduct from emitter to collector again now I added this other schematic diagram just to show that the schematic diagram isn't always like this with the emitter down here it can be on top the emitter can be on the side and the base on another side you can flip this around as you want that doesn't matter uh, just be aware that the emitter is the side with the arrow and the type of transistor is which direction the arrow is pointing whether it's pointing towards the base or away from the base and moving back down here the transistors are usually explained when you're analyzing them like uh, circuit analysis component analysis with uh, these symbols and stuff you got to be aware of the base emitter voltage as I said before the base for the NPN needs to be more positive than the emitter you can see that here and uh, generally that's always the case they're either equal or the base is more positive than the emitter so you want to be aware of what that voltage is as I said you need about 0.6 volts for the bipolar junction transistor from base to emitter to turn the transistor on to allow the uh, collector to emitter uh, current I have voltage here because voltages change too that's analysis I'm not going to go into detail on that but just be aware sometimes you see this as an indication of what's going on with the uh, voltage differences or current differences uh, you see big V for voltage little c little e for collector emitter and uh, we got the same thing with the PNP of course the polarities are opposite though but otherwise they function the same and also when you're analyzing the components and circuits you know like over here now now I used current for this one but you could also do voltage but you got the current of the uh, collector here the current of the base and the current of the emitter now the current of the emitter is the current of the base plus the current of the collector because you got current flowing through there and also through there but in any case that's just kind of an introduction to how that works when you see uh, this kind of layout it's explaining what uh, currents and voltages are doing 